Welcome to the Penn State Center for Agricultural and Shell Laws YouTube channel. In this short video, I would like to introduce you to the concept of agrivoltaic systems on farmland. My name is Chloe Murray and I'm a researcher at the center. Agrivoltaic systems represent a combination of solar photovoltaic panels and crop production or livestock farming on farmland. The idea behind agrivoltaic systems is to improve land productivity by co-developing a same area of land for both the purpose of growing plants or supporting livestock farming and producing energy simultaneously so those farmlands usually converted to solar farms can continue to be used for agricultural activities. This can also help provide additional income to farmers as solar power is either sold back to the grid or at a minimum is used on site. Agrivoltaic systems is an umbrella term referring to either a combination of solar photovoltaic panels and food crops, referred to as agrivoltaics, or a combination of solar panels and livestock farming, referred to as range voltaics. A fair number of agrivoltaic projects have already been implemented in the United States. Agrivoltaic installation can be built using different photovoltaic panel setup and may take the form of greenhouses fitted with rooftop panels or panels positioned above agricultural lands with a choice of two layouts. Solar panels can either be built close to the ground in rows with ample spacing between to allow agricultural machinery or roaming livestock to pass, or be mounted on stilts of sufficient height to allow the clear passage underneath of farming equipment or livestock. Because agrivoltaic systems are a rather new concept in the United States, and due to the variability of parties, site circumstances, and objectives, one challenge in the implementation of an agrivoltaic project is defining the relationship, rights, and obligations of the parties involved, and proceeding to create the appropriate governing legal documentation. In a commercial solar project, a solar developer and farmland owner enter into a solar leasing agreement for the installation of solar panels above the land. If the farm owner is considering agrivoltaics, it should be expressly detailed in the solar lease, and the lease should describe the nature of the agrivoltaic project and the rights and obligations of each party for the duration of the lease. Another challenge to their implementation is their cost. Agrivoltaic projects can be adapted both to small-scale operations, potentially carried out by farmers wanting to reach self-sufficiency and large-scale operations. However, this setting and management could prove very costly to the parties involved. Agrivoltaic projects could potentially be uneconomical in the absence of governmental involvement in the form of a regulatory framework, subsidy mechanisms, and financial incentive. It might therefore be appropriate for the government to play a role in creating the requisite legal environment and conditions to attract investment. Finally, because there is no clear framework and a regulatory approval process addressing the construction and operation of agrivoltaic systems, both parties may have a shared responsibility to ensure the construction of an agrivoltaic project is permissible under local zoning regulations. Most local ordinances, however, are silent with respect to agriculture and solar energy dual land use in agrivoltaic systems. The contracting parties must secure and divide possessory rights to the land through a leasing agreement, allowing both parties to use the land simultaneously. The farmland owner should hold a right to exclusively use the agricultural land underneath the solar panels while the solar developer should have easement rights to install, monitor, and operate the panels. If the farmer does not own the land, a separate direct lease with the landowner will also be necessary, along with amendments to the leasing agreements. Coexistence of agricultural and solar activities in agrivoltaic projects are in for the long run. Therefore, the leasing agreement should reflect and define every risk, constraints, and bearing cost resulting from the construction, operation, and monitoring of agrivoltaic projects, as well as the respective rights and duties of all parties. More resources can be found on our website at aglo.psu.edu, where we regularly post new work products.